These fruit are ever so popular here in Hawaii and today I'll teach you how to make a delicious dessert with it. So stick around. Aloha my kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite island and Hawaiian style recipes. And today I'll be showing you a delicious dessert using lilikoi. Lilikoi are passion fruit. It's the Hawaiian name for it and it's found in the tropical regions. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of tangy and perfect for this dessert. So hele mai, come along and let's make some lilikoi bars. First, I'm gonna show you how to cut open the lilikoi and juice it. It's a little bit of work, but I promise it's worth all the effort. You'll need a strainer, a bowl, and a spoon. So go ahead and cut the lilikoi in half like this. If you don't cut it all the way through, you can catch some of that juice and tip it over, but that's okay. And it'll look like this inside, a lot of little black seeds surrounded by a juicy pulp, super yummy. Place the strainer over a bowl and scoop out the seeds with a spoon like this. Then you're gonna use the back of the spoon to push the seeds against the strainer. And as you push it, the pulp will detach from the seed and release the juices. Then the juices will drip down into the bowl like this. A little bit of effort, like I said, but so worth it, so yummy. Set that aside. Don't forget, all the recipe instructions and ingredients are always listed in the description box below. And now for the delicious shortbread crust. Add flour to a bowl, along with butter, brown sugar, and salt. If you use salted butter, then omit the added salt here. You're gonna use a pastry cutter like this to cut the butter into the flour and sugar to create the crust. Now, this is my mom's recipe and she spent hours trying to figure out how to get this super, super yummy. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. So when it's done, it'll kind of look like crumbly sand like this. So you'll take that and you'll pour into a prepared 9 by 13 baking dish i like to put parchment paper in it because it makes it easy to come out after and you can get nice pieces then you'll spread it out with your hands like this and gently i repeat gently pat it down don't smoosh it down really hard just gently so it fills up the whole pan like this then you're going to place it in a preheated oven to 350 degrees and bake for 15 minutes if you love this video, I'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated every time I post a new video. And I post new videos every week. Now for the lily koi curd layer. Add sugar to a bowl along with flour. Whoops, try not to spill like that and eggs you'll need about four eggs here now if your eggs are larger or smaller you may have to adjust it try not to get the shells in there i did a good job this time not getting any shells in it awesome and you're going to whisk that up until everything is well combined you just want to make sure that the flour bits are really mixed into the eggs and sugar you don't want to have any dry floury parts when you bake it up so continue to whisk so it looks like this then you're going to go ahead and add the lily koi juice now if you can't find fresh lily koi juice you can totally use lily koi puree or concentrate then mix it up until everything is well combined again try not to spill once the shortbread crust has finished par baking, then you'll pour that lily koi mixture over the top like this. Try to make sure it covers the whole thing. And then you're gonna bake that for another 30 minutes. Once the curd starts to bake, you'll see it puff up a little bit like this in the video. When it puffs up, don't worry about it. It'll settle back down. You'll just bake it until the edges start to brown and the curd starts to drop back down. If it doesn't completely drop back down, it's fine. It'll drop down when you bring it out and it cools. Once it's done, it'll look like this. You see how the edges are just starting to brown? That's perfect. And don't worry about the little divots on the top. Those are the air bubbles from when the eggs and all the other ingredients release steam and air, and it causes these little pockets to develop. But don't worry, we'll fix that up and I'll show you how. Once it's completely cooled, you'll want to remove it from the pan. So I kind of grab the parchment paper like this and you just lift it out and voila, super easy. You place it on a cutting board, you can push back the parchment paper like this and then we'll cut it into 24 pieces. As I always say, I always have a hard time making straight lines, especially when I'm trying to cut reaching around the camera so that everyone can see what I'm doing. 
We'll top it with some powdered sugar. Just pour the sugar into the sieve like this, tap it against your hand, and you'll sprinkle a little bit of yumminess all over the top. And that's how you make Lily Koi bars. If you love Lily Koi and you want to check out more Lily Koi recipes, then check out this delicious Lily Koi creme brulee. And if you want to see what YouTube thinks you should watch, then check out this video here. And until next time, ahui ho! Thank you for watching my mom's video.